All right, let's take a look at Homelander. Soup's excited. Let's do it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thanks. That's, thank that's you. Quality. That's right. <laughs> so you know, as you'd expect, not exactly a martial artist, more of a brawler. He just kind of punches you really quickly and really hard. Um, I think his throw really shows his strength. That's what I was talking about earlier. With this yeah, thing, that just fourth wall break. The and, cockiness of it is yeah. great. He also has his eye beams, which he uses on his down four his sweep, and a bunch of his special moves, which we'll get into. Lasers, lasers, lasers. Yeah, he's a big fan of lasers. Like, even his ducking attack, or just ducking, just shows off his personality. Like, it's what are you great. gonna do? Yeah, he's so waiting. cocky, you know? we're ants to him. Mm -hmm. So let's check out one of his key normals, his back one. This is his normal that has the most range. It is a high, so you gotta look out for down pokes and duckers, but it has great range, and you can hit Kerm into a combo, and he just shoves you away. Which Effortless is pretty fleet. good for him as a character to get you out of the way sometimes. It's a great point. Then for mids, he has this forward one, which it doesn't quite have the range of a back one, but it is mid, which is great. He's yes. got the, the spinning backhand, which yes. is one of, one of my favorite moves in game. Very I mean, disrespectful. You, you, you do it in the office all day long. Uh -huh. not, <laughs> not great. No. Back 2-2, two, two, 1 plus 3 ends in a throw, where he gouges your eye out, which is... I love the design team really nailed it. This guy fights dirty. Mm. Despite his super strength, he's just nasty about the way he fights. So is he pushing your eyeball in or pulling your eyeball out? I think he's pushing it out and then throwing away the, uh... What a jerk. Little... The detrius. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Another normal I'd love to show is forward four, which is this low laser sweep, and you can actually combo off of it. I oh. think that'll be one of his best combo starters. And it hits low, which is always great. And then lastly, this normal I think is probably his coolest, is this ear clap. He claps you in the ear. It actually does this cool, like, deafening sound effect. And then it has a neat little bonus where if it's a counter hit, he gets a full combo. Oh, that's cool. And it's like another sort of reference to the show, too, mm -hmm. which I love. Exactly. One of the best scenes from season two, I think. So let's go over his special moves. First off, the eye beams. Everyone saw them in the trailer. He's got a straight beam. Mm -hmm. The EX one is extra powerful and knocks you down. Low one, you can use it to go under fireball, stuff like that. Keep him from advancing forward. An anti-air one, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you think they're gonna jump, you do it. Right. And they'll regret jumping. Yep, yep, yep. And then he has a sweeping laser, which is very cool. The startup is pretty slow, but on hit you get this big knockback, you can do corner combos, and on block they're pushed back. So this one is kind of, hey, you're up close, I want to keep you away, and that complements the ones where you are away and I want to keep you away, or keep you contained. Yeah, if you're in the corner, you can do corner comms and that sort of thing. That's right, corner comms. Good old corner comms. They're back, they're back. They're yeah, back. Yeah, good luck, good luck. <laughs> and uh, also for people that might be wondering, uh, Homelander's earpiece is his cape, belt, and the shoulder paddy thing. Pauldrons. No one uses yeah. that word. <laughs> no one uses that word. All right, so he also has this flight move where he flies up in the air and then comes down looking very, very cocky and regal. If you EX it, it has armor and it knocks them down. So that's kind of his, hey, you're up close, you're pressuring me, get off me move. He literally gets off, like right. flies up and is just gone. <laughs> Then he has this god complex move in the air where he kind of goes into this... Praise me! Yeah, very, very arrogant pose. Regal. And you can go left or right and float, release it at any time. You can just land or go directly into flight, which we'll talk about in a minute. And that's a low hitting move when he comes down, little stomp. And then probably his most, like, kind of notable move, that the move that kind of wraps everything together is the diabolical dash, uh, command dash. Kind of the glue of his kit. Exactly, yeah. like it, everything ties to this. He dashes forward, it's a command dash, it's back forward too, and from there he has four different options. He has the pop-up you've seen, mm -hmm. where he knocks you up, air gets comps. a combo. He has this knee, which is safe on block and mid, you get a knockdown. He has the big old mighty boot that's boot. plus on block and knocks them down. And my favorite. The grab, which is actually like a throw. Like if they're stand blocking, they'll be thrown. Which you can do from, like, it's a throw from distance if you. Right. Yeah. So you can go in and do a throw, go in and do 
Like if you think they're gonna duck block, you can use this mid and get frames. All the different kind of mix-ups you can think of. So he's got all the tools. He pretty much, like <laughs> his offense is kind of tied to this diabolical dash, which you can also do in the air, and it has slightly different like animations. Like the throw becomes this cool next snap mm. where he drops them down. And the back forward one becomes like a ground combo instead of knocking you up. Mm -hmm. And you can do both to like do long combos, which you can see in the trailer and the fight we're gonna show after this. Oh yeah, there were some long air combos in that trailer and I was like, that looks nice. His combos are very fun to do too. So then let's talk about flight. At any point, you can get up and flip stance and it'll start floating. And from there you can move around completely. It's full flight. He also gains, then you can drop down, and he gains. So let's, let's say that one more time, like because it is a different way of getting into the air too. You're Correct. using your flip stance button and up. Yes, that's right. And from there, he has a couple of new moves. He has a down beam. He has straight beam, so you can kind of keep them grounded, keep them out of the air, which is exactly what he wants. And then he can do the diabolical dash from flight, so you can do stuff. Like all the different moves, you can do the grab, and you can just land, and you can use it to get in very quickly. You can use it to go past them for mix-ups. He owns and the And he can air. drop down. That's exactly. And if you look the at the rest of his kit, a lot of it is based on keeping you out of the air. So and then he he's is, free. This is fully fleshed out flying. He exactly. Is flying. Now, I think one of the coolest things, though, is you can actually use it a lot quicker than you might think, and you can go into his air normals. Here's my favorite example. You'll notice we talked a lot about lows, throws, and all that, but I never said the word overhead. Mm -hmm. Typically, he doesn't really have an overhead. However, air attacks are overheads. So what you can do is go into flight almost instantly and do a jump attack. I'll show you. And that counts as an overhead. Exactly. Now great. I'll do it very slowly so you can kind of see what I mean. I'm going into flight. Hitting four, going into a jump attack, canceling that into diabolical dash one into my combo. So it's almost like, oh, very, very, I don't want to say instant, but very quickly you can go into flight, cancel into a jump attack, which becomes an overhead, and that's going to complement all those mix ups. So you can mix it up with the four, four, the throw. You could not do the jump attack. You could diabolical dash over their head, come down, just land. All the options you can do in the air, you can do just on the ground, you can do it in combos and instantly go into flight. You can then, you know, resume your zoning or again, diabolical dash in, land if you don't, fake them out, go so for a 50-50. It's, it's interesting, like his ground version, you don't have to be worried about overheads, but you always have to be worried about overheads because of his flight. Exactly. So he actually does have overheads, it's just they're, they're gained a different way. Yep, exactly. I think it's a really neat way to do his mobility and his mix-ups all tied around the diabolical dash and the flight. I think um, when you first start playing him, he'll seem, you know, like I said, pretty straightforward, jack of all trades, you know, just kind of a brawler. And you're like, that's cool. His animations are cool. This is all great. When you get into flight, you're like, wow, the hitting these buttons is really, really fun. He kind of really opens up when you start looking into flight. I think it's a ton of fun. A lot of satisfying combos, basically. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think he'll really appeal to kind of creative people that like, you know, the setups and the big combos and stuff like that. He'll be a great, you know, here's this video on Twitter of the stuff you can do in the corner using sweeping laser into flight. It's oh, very cool. Yeah. And we haven't even talked about, like, I mean, what people will be using for cameos. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, again, that can just complement his mix-ups, complement, yep. you know, you could have a cameo. Like, you could use, for example, if you're having trouble keeping them out of the air, Sonya's square wave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the last thing I want to talk about is this Fatal Blow. He can do it on the ground, it's a low laser, but then a neat thing, he can do it in flight. 